What is up, you geezer blow tight geezers? It is Chris Modder 9 here. Uh, now, before I start this video, um, I want to uh, apologize um, for not doing a video for the Huddersfield Chelsea game. Um, I was a bit occupied with things, um, uh, especially CMG, because he wanted to do certain videos on a game uh, that he was so itching to do. Um, I didn't get a chance to do anything. Um, and then the following day, or the following couple of days, I was insanely busy, so I I do apologise if I never got a chance to do an actual video for that game. Um, just to summarise it, uh, before I talk about the, the game today, 3-1, um, I can't argue. Um, great goals from Bakayoko, Willian and Pedro. Pedro especially, it was an absolute stinger of a goal. Um, we played well all round, great passing, great, just great everything in that game. Huddersfield defensively just let us in. Uh, especially the first goal that we scored with Bakayoko. I think defensive errors, we kind of capitalised on that. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we came away with a 3-1 win at Huddersfield. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that result. Um, we, we I was expecting a win against Huddersfield, to be honest. If we'd have lost that, that would have been disappointing uh, following the West Ham defeat. But um, yeah, uh, the only problem that I did have was the fact that we didn't come away with a, a clean sheet. But you know... The way we've been going recently, I'd, I'd be happy with a win, to be honest. I'm, I'm not thinking twice about the clean sheet. <laughs> but, um, well, that's that uh, result out of the way. Um, like I said, apologies again if I didn't do a video for that. Um, yeah, so on to today's game against Southampton, 1-0. <sighs> a little bit close for comfort, uh, in all fairness. Um, I thought that the first half of that game was a bit wasteful. Uh, I think we did have a few chances that we completely wasted. Um, I mean, I look at the front three of Willian, Pedro and Hazard. Um, I mean, they look really good on paper every week, but the problem with that front three is that there's just literally no focal point. Uh, there's there's no Drogba player. There's no Diego Costa player on the pitch. Morata, I know he had a, he had a, he didn't play against the Huddersfield. Um, he did have a, 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 he had the time off um, in that game, because he didn't play, um, but I felt that he needed a bit more minutes, uh, to, to at least while we were 1-0 up anyway, to sort of put the game away, um, and the, the goal, by the way, uh, against Southampton came from a free kick from Alonso, absolutely inch-perfect free kick, um, and probably that was the only way we were going to beat Forster in goal, because Fraser Forster in goal was just just absolutely incredible. Like he stopped every opportunity we had. Like even, we had clear cut chance, any clear cut chance we had, Fraser Forster just just saved them without fail. I mean, he was just great in goal. And it's no wonder that he's one of the potential possible uh, number one for the England national team. Um, he's that good. So I mean, you know, I can't fault him in terms of that. Uh, but just. The fact that it was 1-0 and it, we were so vulnerable as well in coming into the um, early remnants of the game, um, it was evident of that because Charlie Austin came on as a substitute and almost immediately when he came on, he had a clear-cut chance. Uh, it was The ball was put in through him by, I think it was Hoberg for them. Uh, and yeah, the Chelsea, de Chelsea defence was completely asleep. Um, but thank God we've got Thibaut Courtois in goal to, to save the chance. Um but yeah, imagine if that would have been a goal um, and all the chances we'd have wasted. Uh, that would have been a very bad situation. Um, but I'm glad that we... Well, event, at the end, we got the job done. Um, but, you know, I, th I think as well that Alonso got a booking in that game, which means he misses uh, the League Cup game against Bournemouth and not the game against Everton. Because if he, if he didn't get a yellow card in that game and he played against Bournemouth and got a yellow card there, he would have missed the Everson game. Um, so I guess that's kind of a tactical booking. Um, but anyway, um, I'm glad we got the win anyway. We got two wins on the bounce following the West Ham defeat, which is good. That we, we bou We've bounced back from that defeat. Um, you know, when, when you think of the, the, the fact that we're still very, very low on players, um, a lot of wins recently... And well, if we if we if we take out that defeat against West Ham, that's not a bad run. Um, I, I just I just can't wait for January because then we can start looking at the team and figuring out what we need to buy and what we need to do to strengthen the squad. 
Um, so we've just got to wing it until January and then suddenly we, we've got an opportunity to start buying players again. Um, maybe buy a left back, maybe buy another striker, uh, possibly a couple more midfielders. We, we need the depth, guys. Um, I don't know, maybe... It's difficult because if we buy players in January, that means we've got a stacked squad and then come the summertime, what, what's going to happen to the young players that we've loaned out? I don't know what's going to happen there, but um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Um, but we definitely need more depth than we've got now. That's that's the main thing. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've got a League Cup game against Bournemouth coming up. We've got Everton coming up in next, next uh, Saturday. Uh, then it's Brighton at home, and then home against Stoke. So, I would say it's a relatively simple um, list of fixtures. We should be able to get through that pretty easily. Um, um, well, I'm, I hope we do. <laughs> I don't want us to start losing games uh, on the bounce suddenly. Um, but we need to start winning games to uh, chase at least Man United. Man City are just over the hills and far away. Let's just forget about them. They're just they're just winning games left, right, and centre. They're not getting they're not going to get stopped. Um, it looks like that Man City are going to win the league. Uh, the way things are going, um, so let's just forget the title for now. Let's just start winning games and then hope that some people up there start losing games, start dropping points, and we start capitalising on it. And uh, yeah, and just uh, to mention something else as well. I did read some of the comments on the West Ham video that I did. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I said, uh, I'm not going to please everybody with my views on, on games. You know, I, I don't, like I said, I don't do this channel for financial gain. Um, I use this video as an idea of just getting my opinions out there. I mean, everybody has a different opinion and I keep stating Football is a debatable subject. You know, you're not going to agree. Nobody in the world of football is going to agree with you 100%. You know, you are going to have people that have different views and think that you're an idiot, you're a twat, you're all this, that, all that and the other. You know, <laughs> you only live once, right? Uh, you know, I'm not I'm not perfect, okay? I'm not I'm not Jamie Carragher. I'm not Graham Souness. I'm not... Uh, Gary Neville, I'm not these kind of people, you know, I'm not the best pundit, I'm not, I don't use these videos as a way of sort of punditry, you know, I, I uh, let's just, say, let's just, let's just call truce and just say that I just use these videos as a way of just stating my own opinion, okay, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to win the, win the appeal of certain people, I, I understand that, but I just, I just hope that you can understand how I do these videos and like I said I'm not going to have everybody on my side you know there are going to be people out there that completely disagree with me and call me names and whatever but you know I just sometimes you just got to roll with the punches um in the words of El Presidor um I do watch a lot of him uh you know sometimes you just got to roll with the punches um so you know so thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, the show must go on, as they say. And uh, yeah, I will see you after the uh, Bournemouth game, where hopefully we'll get a win. And uh, hopefully we'll get a win against Everton as well and start maintaining this uh, run that we've... <laughs> well, steadying the ship after the West Ham defeat anyway. So um, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video. Hey, door, And peace.